What's up guys, John here. So today I'm going to be changing the transmission fluid in my 2014 Dodge Ram. Um, the transmission is an eight speed ZF transmission, the eight HP 70. <coughs> so first things first, I'm letting the temperature of the transmission get up to uh, spec. So if you look here, um, I'm waiting for it to get up to between 86 and 122 degrees. So if you have, um, you know, I think only certain models, the uh, more premium model Rams will actually have the dash where you can check the transmission temperature. Otherwise, you might have to hook up a scan tool to actually check it. So I'm gonna let that get up to temperature and drain the transmission fluid and change the oil pan, which I'll show you in a second. And then I'm gonna fill it with the recommended fluid, which is the ZF Lifeguard 8. So let me go ahead and show you that stuff. Okay, so here is the truck. It is on a level surface right now in the garage. So you definitely want to make sure the truck is level before you uh, start or attempt this procedure. <clears throat> and this is the next thing I want to show you guys. So this is the ATP V453 um, transmission pan and filter. It's all an integrated unit. So let me get rid of the package here. So this is the unit itself here. So it comes sealed nicely. Um, this one you may want to use, and the reason why I chose this versus going the OEM version is, I don't know if you can see through this plastic without the reflection. This has a changeable or interchangeable uh, filter within itself. So this filter here is actually held in with several Phillips screws, you can see there. So it looks like four Phillips screws on this thing. And you can actually change this filter. I think the filter is only 30 bucks. So next time I go to change this, um, I have a pan that has a changeable filter. So uh, they're a reputable company. It comes with the gasket already. So it's already got the rubber gasket ready to go. All I have to do is just swap out the bolts, um, ret retain or keep the original bolts. And yeah, other than that, uh, it's ready to go. It comes with the new drainer plug as well. And same thing here, it tells you what temperature it has to be when you're filling it. So this one here um, seems to be a bit of discrepancy on the actual temperature. Inside of this it says the oil filling temp has to be 40 to 50 degrees Celsius or 104 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Dodge was saying 86 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So this spec is saying they want the transition a bit warmer when you're checking the fluid level. But anyways, and then over here in this corner, I have my fluid that I'll be using. So I bought this stuff online, which I would recommend you guys to do as well, um, so you don't pay or overpay for this stuff. So this is the ZF Lifeguard Fluid 8, and this is the recommended fluid for this. Just shaking the bottle, this stuff seems like it's basically water in here. It doesn't seem like a very thick fluid at all, so. I don't know if you guys can see it shaking in the bottle there, but it looks like it's almost like water in here. So it's very, very thin fluid. Who knows what the hell it's made out of. Um, there's not too much information on their proprietary blends, but I don't want to mess with it. They designed the transmission. That's their fluid. That's what I'm going with. I'm not buying a new transmission. So <clears throat> um, my truck has a bit higher miles on it, but um, as per ZF, if you go to their website and do a bit of digging, they recommend that you change the oil, or transmission oil, I should say, or fluid, every 50 to 75,000 miles. So that's different than what Chrysler is saying. Chrysler is saying that you should change it every, or they don't even say to change it, they say it's a lifetime. So they're trying to claim it's a lifetime fluid, but I mean, how long is a lifetime? Do you plan on keeping your truck for 100,000 miles, or do you plan on actually keeping it for a lifetime, which could be 250,000 miles, who knows? So anyways, I'm changing that fluid, so let's get started, we'll get underneath and start removing the pan and go from there. Okay, so since I'm removing the pan anyways, I'm not going to bother with the drain plug, which is a 10 millimeter. Um, this fill plug is a 8 millimeter um, Allen key. So I'm not going to bother with this because if I let it out from here, it's just going to drain all over this um, exhaust pipe and then it's going to end up smoking and you know how that story goes. So rather, I'm just going to remove the bolts and it's obviously going to leak out one of the corners. So I think that's preferable for me. Um, this is a T40. Um, so that is basically it. I'm going to remove these bolts.
Okay, so we have the OEM pan removed from the car. So after nearly, I guess, 90,000 miles or so, um, this is kind of what we're seeing. I'm going to assume this is original fluid. So the color's not too bad of the fluid. Like I said, this stuff is like basically water. You can see how thin it is. But yeah, um, not too tarnished. Um, I don't think my truck saw much uh, heavy duty use, but it is a little bit discolored from the original color. And the magnets, um, they do have a little bit of, um, I guess, metal or shavings or whatever on them. Nothing to be alarmed, no chunks or anything like that, but they do have some material on them. And here is the new pan. So the there is one slight difference, nothing bad. Um, there's two magnets here, which obviously correspond to those two magnets there. And one difference is this pan does not have a magnet there. No magnet here, no magnet there compared to that one. And the only other difference, which they already basically told me, but it's not uh, not a big deal, is if you look at the depth here compared to there, this one is a tiny bit more shallow. So it still fits, there's no issues with there as far as clearance. They have, many people have used this one, but the difference being that this one holds, I think it's something very minor, like maybe of a quarter of a quart. Um, not a big difference, but just a tiny bit different capacity. And of course, you can see that this filter um, cannot be changed. This is a solid filter, it's part of the pan, and again, like I said, this one can be changed. So let's go ahead and mount this pan to the car, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now that we're under here, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the mating surface to make sure this is all clean. Next, we're going to go ahead and install our pan. Okay, so next we're going to remove the fill bolt, which is an 8 millimeter Allen. Okay, so next I'm going to start pumping in the Lifeguard Fluid 8. And what I'm going to use is this pump that I got off of Amazon. Um, yeah, I think it was only 6 bucks or something, but I had good reviews, so I'm going to use that. So basically it's going to go into each quart or liter, and so I'm basically just going to pump it and get the fluid in there. So the fluid's pretty thin, so it shouldn't be too much of a pain. The only crappy part about this is it's made for a conventional top. I have to screw into the top of a conventional oil bottle, and this one, the lid is a little bit bigger. So um, it's gonna be a little bit sloppy, but we'll make it do, and let's get it done. Okay, so I only managed to get two and a half quarts in there before the uh, fill plug started basically spitting back fluid. So I think that just filled the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And then uh, once we start it, we'll continue to pump more fluid in. And it should take between six and eight quarts. So I'm guessing it's gonna get a little more difficult because it's obviously gonna get hot and won't be able to you know, touch this hose against there. So it should be getting interesting. Um, let's go ahead and start it so that the pump starts circulating and pulls the fluid out of here because right now it's just pouring out of this plug. Bit of a slow dribble here. Let's go ahead and put the cap in for a second. 
like the through the gears. Okay, so in the truck, we are within our temperature range. We're at 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Parking brake is on. You can go ahead and put it in reverse for five seconds. Drive for five seconds. Cycle to the different positions. And back in the park, we are sitting at 109 degrees, so let's go ahead and see where our dribble's at. So just to double check, I let it cool down a little bit. We're sitting at 109 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're within spec of both Chrysler's spec and then the ATP filter, which says between 104 and 122. I'm gonna go ahead and start it again, cycle it through the gears, run under there, and double check the fluid <coughs> that it's a slow dribble, and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and start it. Cycle through the gears, leaving it for a couple seconds each. This thing's screaming at us just because they're close to the wall, but... Okay, so it's in park. We're sitting at 109 still. Let's run down there and check what we got. Parking brake is on, of course. I don't want to kill myself. Alright, so we can add a little bit more, it looks like. Oh, actually, we still got a slow dribble. So we are all done and just to recap, this is the fluid that you're going to want to be using. The Lifeguard Fluid 8 in your Dodge Ram with the 8 HP 70. So that's it. We're all done. Um, I'm not going to get into too much about how many different quarts you should use because um, it's really going to depend on whether you use the aftermarket filter that I use, the ATP filter, or if you use the OEM whether you're just draining it, whether you're changing uh, the actual pan out with the filter. So it's really gonna have a lot of variables. So I went ahead and bought eight quarts. It looks like I used about five or so. 
um, to fill it with the ATP pan um, and I verified that by checking it several times, letting the truck cool down and making sure that transmission temperature was in spec and that's what I used to use. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and all the details on what I used and where I ordered it, I'll put it in the description below. So check that out for more info and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff with the truck and the Viper as well. So um, thanks for watching again and take care. What we do here is go back, 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 back.